In this video, we'll see how to use Google Tag Manager inside WeWeb to track what users are doing inside the WeWeb app. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the plugins and add the Google GTM extension. Here you will be asked to use the a production staging and editor key. So the main difference is that uh, you can use a different container, Google Tag Manager container, if you're uh, on the production app, on the staging app, or in the editor. So what we'll do is that for our example, we'll use the same ID uh, everywhere. So the ID, the ID is here on the top right of your screen when you're using Google Tag Manager. So what I do is that I will uh, copy the ID only and then paste it everywhere and then save. So once it's done, Google Tag Manager is added to your app and page views are, are tracked by default. So you can use uh, page views inside Google Tag Manager. So for example, if you were to use a trigger on all pages, so let's create a fake tag in Google Tag Manager. And if you were triggering on all pages, for example, for a pull to add Google Analytics uh, as an example, um, then this would work because the all pages um, trigger is already up and running. But the main thing is that if we want to use a specific event inside Google Tag Manager to track, for example, a login, to track a button that was clicked by a user, to track a search bar, anything you would think of, uh, you can do this in WeWeb. So for example, I will track the login here in my app. So what I'll do is that I go on my login workflow and you see here in any workflow, what you can do now is add an action called Google GTM push events. And what you have to do is simply to give parameters to this um, event. So basically uh, an event in Google Tag Manager is just an object. And Google Tag Manager watches new objects uh, added to. So you have a, a variable called uh, data layer that is added inside your the, the user browser. And every time an event is pushed, it gets added to this variable. And every time so an event is pushed, it, you can use it in Google Tag Manager to trigger, for example, a Google Analytics or tag or Facebook pixel, anything you want. So here, as an example, we'll call uh, the variable event and then login as a value, but you can enter as many um, key and values as you want. Uh, so for example, you could say uh, user email and then bind this to the user email if the user uh, is logged in. So here we won't do this, but this is completely custom, it depends on the tool you want to use. And you can reuse this variable inside Google Tag Manager. Then the only thing is that you need the key called event and then a name. This is the event name uh, in the end. So what you can do now in Google Tag Manager is create a trigger that will trigger for this specific event. So let's create this and call it login. And then what you should use is you should uh, use the custom event um, trigger, then we'll call it login, and we'll filter only when the event name is equal to login. And basically, this is equivalent to this here. So if you change it, you should use something else here. And then we'll save. And now what I can do, for example, is create a trigger uh, a tag, sorry, when the, the trigger login happens. So for example, I could say when logins happen, I can use Google Analytics, Google Ads, I mean everything. You can even use custom HTML to add like uh, specific tools like the Facebook pixel, for example, or I don't know, some data to amplitude, these kind of things. And you have many tools available natively inside Tag Manager. So for example, here I will just use uh, the Google Analytics um, a Google Analytics event. The measurement ID should be the, uh, the ID of your Google Analytics account. So let's use a fake one. And the event name would be login. And then I will call it login. And then if you save, yeah, so obviously it's not the right one, but yeah, that's a fake one, no worries. 
And then what you should do is you should submit this event uh, live. So add login event. And now what will happen is that when you try this, for example, you test the push event, it will be sent to Tag Manager and you will be able to uh, it will send basically this event to Google Analytics because we set up it that, that way. But because it's a custom event, you can use it for many destinations, like the Facebook pixel, as I said, Amplitude, I mean, sending it to HubSpot, any tool you want. 